customizing useful and harmful materials. When is a material useful? Materials are considered useful when it serves a purpose. These materials may have properties such as durability, resistance to water, heat or acid, flexibility, elasticity, and hardness. Some useful materials can also be reused. Take, for example, a container for any solid or liquid material. When it is already empty, it can still be used for other purposes, as a flower vase, a coin bank, or a house decor. Whether a bottle is made of plastic or glass, it has a property that makes it reusable. For example, broken glass jar can cause cuts or injury. Toxic substances may also be present. The things you commonly use such as paints, cleaners, fumes, gels, or powders. These materials may bring harm to your health, environment, and other organisms when not used properly. That's why you should take precautionary measures when handling and using different materials. When is a material considered waste? When a material already served its primary use and then can be discarded, it is considered a waste. Waste can be classified as biodegradable and non-biodegradable. When we say biodegradable, it can be decomposed by bacteria or other living things. Say, for example, fruit fillings, dried leaves, leftover food, paper, and the likes. When we say non-biodegradable materials, it is not rot easily. For example, plastic, styrofoam, cans, glasses, and the likes. Waste materials thrown in a dump site can be safe or harmful. Safe waste materials are not poisonous or toxic. Some of it can even be reused or recycled. For example, safe waste materials include paper, clothing, plant parts, and food. Paper and clothing can be recycled, while plant and food can easily decompose and can be used as a source of organic fertilizer. While harmful waste materials cannot be dumped straight into a landfill. These materials can be toxic or harm harmful to living things when not disposed properly. For example, batteries, rubber ties, and paint.